What's up guys, Style Fantasia here uh, with another Allegro game programming uh, tutorial and um, this time around we're talking about backgrounds so how to add some scenery to the back of your uh, your game so backgrounds can be one of the most important aspects of, of, of game programming and especially to RPGs and things uh, games of that type the uh, background is sort of you know sets the tone the mood it and it, uh, it ups the aesthetic uh, quality of your game overall. So the way we do this, um, just to give you a, a con in context what the game looked like before, uh, we had Sonic um, and Mario, and in the previous tutorial we added animation to the both of them. So they now walk in frames, and um, they're not just static, and they don't just move back and forth um, without any frames. So that's nice. So for this tutorial, I've removed Sonic out of the uh, out of the sample game just for the simplicity um, and to clean up the code just a little, just so um, there won't be so much on the screen to process all at one time. So um, let's get started with backgrounds. Um, so essentially, there are multiple different ways to get backgrounds uh, in your in your game uh, in in games in general. And uh, two of those methods will be uh, considered uh, in the tutorial series. One of them is called what's called bitmap graphics, okay, or otherwise known as raster graphics. And with raster graphics, um, the image that you see on the screen is essentially one entire uh, image. It's it's a whole object that is represented by binary numbers uh, in your computer's video card. So. What that means is that everything you see on your screen, your, your monitor screen, is nothing more than just a matrix or an array, a grid of numbers that represent colors. Um, and those colors are sent to the pixels. Um, so each one of the pixels on your screen is a different color uh, and it makes up the picture, you know, what you see. Um, that's how bitmap graphics is done. And uh, needless to say, it could take up a lot of memory. It depends on you know what your hardware is that you're using. The other method of um, creating images uh, or, or backgrounds too in in your game is uh, through what's called tile map graphics. And with tile map graphics, um, your the image that you see is essentially made up of individual elements called tiles, and they're spread out against a tile map um, where all of your tiles lay. Uh, the old retro video game consoles like the early Sega systems and uh, Nintendo's systems, the NES and SNES, they use tile map graphics. Um, and in some of the games, this could, uh, you know, most of the games were, weren't, weren't uh, very good about showing their tiles. Most of them were actually really uh, hard to see if you tried to find them. but uh, in some other areas, if you looked really closely, you could tell that there are certain repeating structures like floors and ceilings and walls that just repeat the same things over and over. So those are the tiles, and um, and that's how essential that's how the tile map is done. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the bitmap version of how to get uh, backgrounds up and running. So essentially, what you want to do is you want you need to have a a bitmap image uh, or something that you've made and here I've got um, I've got a, an image that I made in uh, Allegro Sprite Editor which is a very good software package by the way to make uh, sprites for your game um, I'll maybe do another tutorial on how to use Allegro Sprite Editor but uh, this is a, a background that I want um, shown in my game so I'm gonna go ahead and we need a way to uh, put this image on the screen um, and have Mario drawn over top of this image. Um, so I go, I went ahead and I made the field um, background. I put the file in the same folder as my other Allegro files. And then what you want to do is after you create the buffer, which I call BMP, it's, it's been called that for a while, a few tutorials now. What you want to do is you want to create another bitmap um, pointer and we'll call it background and what you want to use is Allegro's function called 
load bitmap or load BMP okay and your parameters are the file name and your palette we won't worry about the palette for now we'll pass it null so we go back to our code and do load bitmap and it's called field.bmp don't forget your file extensions and I'll pass it a null and so now after that executes it's going to take my field uh, file and it's going to load it um, it's going to load it into the uh, memory and it's going to return the pointer or the address of that bitmap and store it into background so what we're going to do we're going to skip all the logic code so we're going to um, we can fold that for now actually we'll, we'll leave it open um, we'll, we'll leave that code open and then you want to go down here to your rendering section and before Mario gets drawn to the to the bitmap or to the buffer BMP, what we're going to do is we're going to blit our background to the bitmap using the no clipping, and um, we're going to stretch it out. all the way using the using the pointers width and height so what this line will do is essentially take your background uh, image and it's going to blit it onto the to the buffer and then it's going to take Mario and draw him onto the background uh, I'm sorry onto the buffer see what we're doing is we're essentially creating a pancake layer just layering the bitmaps on top of each other the uh, onto the bitmap so the first things that we're doing is we're going to take our background and blit it onto the BMP and then take Mario and draw him onto the buffer and then what we're going to wind up doing is blitting the buffer to the screen so everything is taking turns getting drawn to the buffer and then the buffer gets drawn to the screen so now if we compile it and run it now we have Mario drawn onto the background and he moves normally so that's that's nice um, and so essentially this line clear to color becomes ineffective and it doesn't matter if it's there or not because if we're drawing to the to the buffer anyway it doesn't really matter that we clear it so if we take this and run this now um, it runs uh, essentially the same same exact way you're not seeing the you're not seeing the bitmap layer anyway. What you're seeing that is the screen, but the bitmap gets drawn to the screen, so it essentially works. It works out. So that's that's bitmap graphics. That was that was that was very uh, simple. You know, all we had to do was create a bitmap file. Uh, your, that's your background that you want, and then you load it into a, a, a bitmap structure a pointer, and then you want to uh, you want to blit your background to the buffer, blit everything else on top of your background to the buffer, and then you want to blit the buffer to the screen. And that's how it gets done. Now, uh, you know, it, order here does matter. Um, I believe I, I stressed this in my other videos that, um, you know, if you put the, if you draw Mario onto the bitmap, and then uh, onto the buffer, and then you try to blit the buffer to the background in the wrong order, in that order and then you try to run it you will get no Mario because the background is drawn on top of him so that's that's a common error that um, that can happen you want to draw your background first because like I said your the things that get drawn um, later are, are drawn on top of the things that you call that you draw before so that's how that works and um, yeah that's that's how bitmap uh, graphics work um, so in my uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to do tile map graphics, and um, and then from there we'll go on and do um, perhaps some physics or collision detection, um, depending on on the order of things. So cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll see you next video.